You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. Oh, how exciting. Driving to Melbourne, beautiful morning, sun is out, bit of hay fever, that's why I'm all blocked up. But what a beautiful day. Off to Arrow 20, off to our third residential leadership development training this week. Very exciting. But you know, you got a friend in me, Toy Story 4 is coming out. How exciting is that? You know, we all know the story, well, I, I, I'm assuming we would all know the story of these cute, cuddly little toys. Andy's toys who uh, go on these amazing adventures but we know in Toy Story 3 that the toys were handed on to a new family and uh, the toys have a new life with a new family and uh, looking forward to seeing what adventures they go on and how that works and the new characters that come out of this but it got me thinking new family new life you know, on the weekend we had uh, junior soldiers. We had a great afternoon on Sunday with 15 of the junior soldiers. And we went down to Point Lonsdale Beach. It was amazing. Beautiful weather, perfect conditions. The tide was out, which meant we could walk along the little rock pools. It was so pleasant. But new life and new family is what we're about. As, well, as followers of Jesus, we're about new life in Jesus and new family found in Jesus' family. And, and that's what we model at Junior Soldiers. So at Junior Soldiers, we want to ground children in nature. We want them to be in a safe, caring, supportive environment where they can just have fun and be children. And we speak into their life but our actions speak louder than our words. We love them to life. And you know, we have food together, we have some snacks together. These kids initiated a dance competition and they loved it by the beach. It was just amazing. And it was just a reminder of new life. A new life we can have in Jesus and a new family we can have Jesus' family. And we're all on mission together. I know, wanted to share that ex exciting news because, you know, with Toy Story 4 coming out, it's going to be an interesting story to check out because there's new, new characters in new families. For the church, that is our role. For the church, we are to, to love people to life and be a family for people who have none to be a supportive ecosystem of well-being for those in our community who are struggling, for those who have been marginalized, for those who are sick, for those who are desperately needing support. It is a joy to be a follower of Jesus, to listen to him and do what he says. We are seeing revival. Because revival always follows reformation. And you know, when Jesus calls us to make disciples, we are modeling a different reality of church. We are reforming the church. God is reforming his church when he calls us to make disciples. Because it opposes the current systems that we have. It flips things upside down. It makes people the main thing, the main focus. So I would encourage you, to love your neighbours, to build relationships with those people around you. Loving, genuine, caring connections as Jesus explains and models to us in the Bible. You know, he, he modelled it with the disciples and he asked us to do that. And then the early church modelled that. They gave to each other as they had need. They looked after each other. They cared for each other. They raised each other up. So as a follower of Jesus, I encourage you, from one follower to another follower, wherever you are today, to invite Jesus into your life today. Ask him to do something new in you today. And I pray that God will use you today to create a new family for people in your community who are struggling. Go to them, love them, stay with them, heal them,
accept their hospitality, raise them up, and send them. It takes time, but it's worth the investment. If every soldier in the Salvation Army loved their neighbors and came alongside people and realized that the, the kingdom is with them, they are not alone, and that Jesus is with you, he's raising up a whole church family through your obedience in going and making disciples. The Salvation Army is a church planting movement. It doesn't work as an organization. As an organization, it can't organize mission. It doesn't have the capacity to do that. I don't think any organization really has the capacity to do that. A movement is a movement and it's around transform lives. When you try to organize something, when you try to put, you know, have to spend money in something and you, and you have to be dependent on grants for something, it just stops the momentum. It's a movement blocker. When you have to make people jump through hoops uh, to become members, it's a movement blocker. But when you love people to life and you empower them to love their neighbors and love their enemies, they can do that wherever life happens. They don't need to be bound into a religious institution it is the community becomes the church. The whole network that they work and live in becomes influenced by the kingdom of God. That is what the movement of God is about. So as Toy Story 4 soon comes to the, the movies, we need to be people of new life and creating new families for God. He is the master. He is the Lord. And he is our commander in chief. And we need to listen to him. I'm Peter for the Salvation Army.